Matt Mahler with Movie Web. It's a pleasure to speak with you today. Thank you. Hey. Manny, I, I really enjoyed this. Uh, it it feels kind of narratively like the, the mind buggery of Jacob's Ladder, which I know you uh, did some writing on. Uh, what do you enjoy about these kinds of uh, narrative twists where reality is never exactly what you seem, where you're always questioning? And how do you sustain that over 10 sort of episodes? Wow, okay. Well, first of all, I'm a very paranoid person, so I tap into that stuff very naturally <laughs> of like, is this really, is everyone seeing this kind of thing? Um, so I'm a huge fan of that kind of thing. We also, you know, we talked a lot in the room about how I mean, this, this show is very rooted in sort of emotional trauma, right? Trauma and grief and loss and those things and how those things color the way you see the world. And so it's actually your perspective changes depending on what you're going through. So we talked a lot about how whatever your experience is is real for you, right? So just living, and that's what I love about psychological thrillers of like living inside of this character's experience that for them is very real and emotionally true. And I think that because we're rooted in that, hopefully we're able to sustain it over the course of the show because that's the driver of everything that's happening. And Eli, the character that Billy Crystal plays, is running from something that ultimately he's going to have to turn around and face. So there's kind of a natural escalation to that journey. Yeah, and uh, it's always disorienting when you're in a totally subjective space. Yeah, exactly. And I think the show handles that really well. You mentioned Billy Crystal. I'm, I believe this was picked up before he was cast. No. Uh, were you? Oh, no, really? No. No, so this so this this idea originated with Billy Crystal. So I was brought in right at the beginning. He had been tossing around some ideas with Eric Roth, who's our other EP. They're good friends. They wanted to do a child psychiatrist. They couldn't really track where they wanted to go with it. And Eric, I had developed something with before, and we really loved working together. He's fantastic. And he called me up and said, would you like to developed the show with us. So Billy was always a part of it from the very beginning. That's uh, my fault for trusting Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he's, he's fantastic in it. Uh, I think there's something fundamental about very funny people. Uh, they can turn on drama surprisingly well. Robin Williams, Will Ferrell even. Mm -hmm. um, were you always comfortable uh, with Billy in this role? Did you always think it would work? Um, I mean, this was, I've never had the experience before of developing and writing a character with the person who's going to play the character. And it turned out to be a really incredible collaboration. His instincts, even in the development stage, made it clear to me that he was completely comfortable going down a path that we hadn't seen him go down before. Um, the stuff that I was so excited about was all, I mean, I love that he embraced all the sort of, you know, more genre elements, but the emotional stuff and the, the scenes that he has with uh, Judith Light, his wife, and, and the, that emotional story, Billy was incredible and Judith as well. And they really landed that, which was amazing. I love the production design too. And the, the effects are they kind of creep in from the edges, mm -hmm. uh, the way that uh, they're kind of seen uh, by Noah. Um, how uh, how much of this did you want to be actually spooky? It's spooky season. It's being released right before Halloween. Did you want this to cross over that line into kind of horror elements? Yeah, for sure. I mean, we wanted to, you know, I love what you're saying about it creeping in because you wanted to have the sense that your nightmares are bleeding into the real world. And it starts as something out of the corner of your eye. So really starting with that unsettling unease. And then the show really evolves from there to sort of bigger horror elements, which again, are always tied into this emotional, you know, these ideas of trauma, you know, and, and trauma is horrific you know so they very naturally blend together i think well that's my time it's a very addicting show and very oh, good. warping congrats thank you so much i appreciate it <laughs>